Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. My name's Todd, and today I've got a little bit of a project um, to do on this awning right here behind me. Uh, this is an awning on the back of our garage, and it's springtime here on the farm. And with springtime comes all the little birdies, and they want to build nests any place they can find that is under the shelter and uh, protected from the uh, rain and wind, etc. So I've got some, I think they're swallows, that are trying to build some nests under here. Now I've already put uh, some bird spikes there, those little spiky things that are supposed to keep the birds out and it worked well last year. Uh, however, the birds this year that are trying to build the nests up there, these teeny tiny little either sparrows or swallows or finches, I'm not quite sure what they are, but they build the mud nest. So they're bringing in grass and mud and they're packing it up under the uh, awning there. And I've been so far fighting them with the garden hose. I've been coming out here and spraying the mud off and trying to keep everything off. And that's not working. I'm losing the battle because they're very persistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up there. I'm going to clean out the mud and stuff that's there already and I'm gonna put in um, like some plastic mesh over there temporarily just to keep the birds out during this time that they're wanting to build a nest and hopefully they'll go someplace else and build their nest there and then once uh, nesting season is over then I'll take that uh, plastic mesh down and it'll look nice again so let's do that Thanks for joining me. And remember, if you like this video, you find it interesting, give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos. And ring that bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. <clears throat> Man, it's very windy out here today, so you guys may hear some uh, wind in my microphone. But hopefully, I've got one of those little socks over it, so hopefully it's not too bad ladder up here so I can kind of see what's going on uh, oh yeah they're trying to they're trying to get going with a nest let me bring you up on the camera so you can kind of see what's going on so here I am up on the ladder underneath and you can see I've already got uh, these bird spikes up here which are plastic spikes that really keep the birds out of here pretty well but you can see here's the nesting material it's kind of mud and grass and they're uh, coming up under here and they're building right on this ledge here so uh, I guess the issue uh, is that this kind of keeps the birds from just sitting right on here but it's enough ledge there that they still have room to uh, kind of put their mud and build the nest so what I'm going to do is uh, clean this off then I'm going to take just a piece of uh, like plastic netting and just temporarily wrap around this and kind of staple it up here to keep the birds out of here at least while it's uh, nesting season uh, so they won't uh, build their nests here okay let's get at it so the first thing I'm going to do is get my garden hose and kind of get up under there and spray that mud off And uh, see if I can get it kind of cleaned up before I put the netting up there. Oh yeah, lots of mud. Oh, it's all up here, those little guys. Man, I love nature, I love the birds, but I don't want them nesting here. This is going to make a mess all over everything, which it already has. They're very persistent though. I mean, I've, I've hosed this down multiple times um, trying to keep them out of here and I'd be darned if they don't come back, you know, immediately <laughs> after I hose it down. I mean, I don't think they really know that uh, they're not supposed to be here. They're just looking for a place to build a nest. And this is an awesome place because it's out of the out of the rain and they can just get right up under here and be kind of safe yeah look all over the wall there where i hose that off it's just a bunch of mud and grass they're probably sitting out there looking at me right now going what is that guy doing he's tearing down all our work which you know i kind of hate it because at some point they're going to have to have a nest to lay their eggs in but it's not going to be here 
so I want them to get going somewhere else uh, soon. Uh, and I've got the mud out of there. I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to go get a sponge and some soap and try to get the mud off the paint. Let me go ahead and hose that down a little bit more. Let me bring you up where you can see the carnage. There you go. I'm not sure how good that shows up, but you can see the the grass and the mud all over everything there. So let's go ahead and clean that up some more. My wife has really been kind of laughing at me. She said I'm going to have a heart attack because uh, we can see this awning from our den and we have some large sliding glass doors <clears throat> that look out over the backyard here and this little area. And I can see the birds when they come in and start putting stuff and I have to, she laughs because I jump up and I grab the water hose and I run out here and try to run them off. But as you can see, I have not been very successful or they're more persistent than I am. Uh, and they've got nothing else to do but build a nest. I've got other things to do, so I can't watch this area all the time. So they get ahead of me on the nest building activities. All right, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go get some uh, soap and see if I can clean up some of that mud up there before I put my uh, little plastic mesh up. Man, there's a lot of grass. Those, those little guys, I don't know. Nature is amazing that they can build a nest out of grass and mud. Now, we've had some rain uh, the past couple of days, so there's lots of mud to be found. But, uh, yeah, it's just amazing that they can pick up grass and mud, bring it up, and build a, uh, build a home out of it. All right, I think that looks pretty good for now. Let me go get my uh, bucket, soap, and some sponge, and I'll wash this down a little bit. Okay, I've got my bucket here and a sponge and I put some soap in here they've probably been back since I've been gone and uh, tried to get going again because they are persistent Man, there's a lot of, I don't know how they do it. There's a lot of mud under there, grass. Okay, let me see if I can get up there and clean this up a little bit. Oh yeah, I've got mud all over everything here. when I hose it off all right let's hose that bad boy off and then we're able we'll be ready to put up our uh, netting here we go
I'm not really sure what happened to my uh, microphone, but it stopped working. So I'm going to have to kind of do a voiceover here. So what I've just showed was a pair of hand staplers that I'm going to use to attach this kind of plastic mesh wiring to the awning here. So I'm just going to get up on the ladder here and uh, kind of spool this out and start stapling. Now that I have the front stapled, I'm going to grab my scissors and uh, just cut up the sides here so that I can fold this uh, piece in the front that's hanging down back to the back and staple it. So I've got everything stapled up in the front and the back, and I've also tucked this plastic mesh in between those uh, rafters that you see there and onto those existing bird spikes so that uh, there's no way that the little birds can get back in there and build the nest. So I'm hoping that this is going to solve my problem and uh, keep the birds out until uh, nesting season is over and then I can take it down. So finally, I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up here. Uh, let me get up on the ladder and um, you can see exactly what I did. You can see that I've got this plastic mesh kind of stapled across the front and then looped up underneath. And you can see it kind of wadded up in between the rafters. What I had to do is take the scissors and cut the mesh around the rafter so I could tuck it back up in there. But I think that uh, I've got all of the entrance locations pretty well covered, and uh, that's going to keep the birds out. So thanks for watching, and remember, if you like this video, please press that like button and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos. Until next time, take care.